are on at the start of day two at Clantoni Priory. It's a beautiful morning. The sun has just gone in as we switched the camera on, but it is a beautiful morning. <laughs> and this is a very beautiful location. It's gorgeous. This is where we got to last night, but we were um, perhaps a little tired to appreciate it. <laughs> so we're going to have a little wander around and capture some film here this morning. But it is absolutely incredible, nestled away in the mountains. You wouldn't even know it was here. Yeah. Gorgeous. Yeah, I kept thinking as we were walking up to it yesterday, surely we'll see it. <laughs> but you don't see it until no, you're right there. No, it's right here. It's absolutely beautiful. And yeah, we are walking day two of not the Beacons Way again. Um, even though the weather is looking fine today, um, I think it's going to turn later in the week. So we're going to stick with our alternative route, which follows woods and valleys as much as possible. Um, but we might see the top of a hill today at some point. <laughs> with a beautiful view. Yeah. Um, uh, how are you feeling, Katie? <laughs> I'm feeling great, actually. Um, I was pretty exhausted at the end of yesterday. I'm feeling glad that today's planned route is a lot shorter than yesterday. Yeah. How about you? Yes, definitely. Right at the end, yesterday was tough. <laughs> <laughs> but it was lovely to get back, have a hot bath um, and some food, and then... Yeah fall asleep very quickly <laughs> um, but I do feel okay this morning slightly that stiff good. when we first got up but I'm, I'm hopeful to get through the day all right I think once we get moving the stiffness will disappear and hopefully we'll feel good but yeah a shorter day today yeah. at least that's what's planned you never quite know what the tracks have got in store for you yeah um, but yeah hopefully we'll have a bit longer to rest this evening Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And um, we're going to have a little special guest with us first thing this morning. Not for the whole day, but uh, for a little bit of the route. Yes. Uh, my little dog Jack is going to join us.
going up there. You see, it is worth going up a bit. It really is. So we're about halfway up our ascent and we've stopped for a rest. And I thought it'd be a good chance to show you the view that we've got because we can see um, on the other side of the valley is where we walked yesterday. So we walked all along the valley on that side of the river, all the way up into here, down in that cleft is where the Priory is. You can't see it because it's around the corner from this hill. And then today we've walked all along this side of the valley uh, up to the hill where we are now. Oh look, there's Cat filming me. <laughs> <laughs> So this is our second breakfast stop. Yeah. We've just done our biggest ascent of the day. On the grand scheme of ascents, it's not very big, but because we've been walking mostly on the flat, <laughs> it was a bit of a shock to us, but um, we made it. And as you can see from this slightly wonky shot we've set up on the top of the hill, the view <laughs> is worth it and the sun's come out for us. Mm. Um, yeah. Yeah. What's coming up next on the trail? I was going to chat about where we've been first. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. We've mostly been through the woods this morning. We've been on woodland tracks. Um, it's been a mixture. There's been some conifer plantations and some native woodland. I noticed beech and lots of chestnuts. Quite a lot of mud again. Yes, plenty of mud. Um, but luckily not quite as bad as yesterday. It was more kind of rocky, streamy. Um, <sighs> easier to go through without losing your boots yes um have you got dry feet yes because i've got waterproof socks <laughs> <laughs> and i also have dry feet so that's the best we can hope for i think um i actually don't know what's coming up next okay so um it'll be a surprise i think we're following this ridge for a little bit we've walked up to the top of the hill and we're going to head that way and hopefully enjoy some more beautiful views <laughs> Must have been ruined a long time for that big tree to be growing in the middle.
other side. <laughs> I've got short legs. <laughs> <laughs> Graceful. Do you need to help? I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Careful, the rock on the other side is really thick. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, we found a beautiful spot in the woods for our lunch break. I've taken my shoes off because I needed to do a bit of foot care. Um, <laughs> also, it's just really nice to take my shoes and socks off. How long have we done? I think we've done about six miles. Yeah, I think so. Um, Which is not very long. We found this, it's a little, no, <laughs> it's a little detour off the main route, but it's a, a sort of boardwalk built up where you can walk and it's not too boggy and there's older trees all around and it's a lovely spot. It's there's, really there's nice. There's been a buzzard circling over us while we were eating, which was amazing. It's nice to find a little bit of accessible trail as well. You could use this with a wheelchair or a buggy, which is obviously quite rare to see. You've seen some of the routes we've been on so far. <laughs> I've had some escapades this morning. I had a style related <laughs> incident. Yeah. Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's been mostly woodland. Um, once we got up onto the ridge, there was a little stretch of ferns, um, high, tall ferns on either side, and a sort of stone wall to one side. And there was just so many butterflies flying around. Yeah, it was, it was really full of insects. We couldn't really see the views because it was wooded up there, which I didn't expect. But I wasn't disappointed with what we found. Uh, I saw a hornet, which was, I got as close as I was comfortable with. It was a bit <laughs> scary. Um, and yeah, just incredible butterflies and lichens. We found a ruin that had a tree growing up out the middle of it with incredible lichens on. Um, yeah. And yeah, we've just been in the woods all yeah. morning. There has been some bogginess. Um, nothing quite <laughs> as bad as yesterday. No. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, more wet than, than proper boggy, I think. And we just had lunch. We've got about six miles to go, so we're halfway, which is less than I would hope, but turns out it's quite slow to stop and film everything that you find beautiful, and there's a lot of things that are beautiful. So we're just taking our time and savoring it. So, just stopped for a little bit of foot care <laughs> and rest. <laughs> yeah, 
Um, we're currently gazing across a field full of sheep, but the field is absolutely yeah. luminous green in the sun. Incredible. This, I can't believe this weather. Yeah, the sun today has been very unexpected. <laughs> We've been, after our lunch, we went up into some beautiful oak woods. Um, and then since then, we've been following, we went on a minor road for a little bit and following this track that we're sitting next to. And we're coming to the end of the walk. I think we've got about three miles to go. And yeah. we're starting to hope that we might get to our destination, which is the town of Quick Howell in time for an ice cream. But I'm not sure how hopeful I am. <laughs> and there goes the camera. Uh, <laughs> well, everyone can see the sheep. <laughs> we might have to leave that in to explain yeah, why, so. why there's a different angle now. Uh, yeah, three miles to go. The app reckons it'll take us about an hour and 15 minutes, but I don't think it will because, because we're, we're tired, slow. it's hot. Um, and we stop and take videos and photos all the time. So it may or may not happen. Yeah, and there is a little bit coming up with some water where Katie's very much hoping <laughs> for a swim. But, but the swim might scupper the chance of the ice cream. That's the problem. Yeah, so. we'll have to assess when we get there. <laughs> it might be a choice of one or the other. But when you come up, you've got water up ahead. You never really know what it's going to be like. Do no, you? it could so. be disgusting or it could be just a shallow pool or we don't know. We're going to cross a river and I'm hopeful for swimming, but you know, you never know. swimming. So we are less than a mile away from Crick Howell. We're walking along the road, which is why we've stepped into this field with a public footpath to uh, keep ourselves safe from cars while we chat to you for the last time today, probably. Yeah, we're very ready for, <laughs> fingers crossed, an ice cream and fingers yeah. crossed possibly some chips. We skipped <laughs> we'll the river because um, it was quite shallow and fast flowing and I also thought it looked a little bit manky. So. We went in favour of ice cream. It's about, what is it, 4.15? Yeah. Um, so we're hoping that anywhere with ice cream stays open until five o'clock. Please keep fingers crossed for us. what it's for. We're, we're doing a vlog of our big Lovely. hike that we're on. 